In this lesson, we're going to install Quart. Make sure you have at least Python 3.7 installed. If you don't, you can go ahead and check my video on how to do that for Windows or Mac. Next, we're going to install the Poetry Package Manager. Poetry allows us to handle package management from our Python applications and replaces the previous virtual env workflow. It's better than using a requirements TXT because it tracks package dependencies in more detail, avoiding the issues we had sometimes where package upgrades would break our application. Check if you have Poetry installed by typing poetry dash dash version in your terminal. If you don't, follow the Poetry installation instructions in the Poetry docs page. To create our first Quart application folder, we will use Poetry to set that up for us. So navigate to the folder where you keep your Python applications. It can be your user's home directory or a completely different directory. Just do a CD to it. Next, let's create a folder for our Quart project with make dear quart-hello and type cd quart-hello to start the process. Now we'll initialize this folder to be a poetry project. Poetry has an init module that can ask some details about the project, but for this time we'll just initialize it with a simple configuration. So type poetry init n. This will create a pyproject toml without too much information. Next, we want to create the virtual environment that Poetry will use, so type Poetry Shell. Poetry will create the virtual environment folder in your user directory and enable it automatically. We now install Quart by doing Poetry add Quart. Poetry will add Quart and a bunch of other dependencies. Open your favorite code editor and create a file called hello.py in the root folder. We'll write the following code in hello.py. First, we import the Quart class from the Quart package. We then create an instance of a Quart app using the underscore underscore name underscore underscore global as its identifier. Next, we'll define the root path that the application will respond on. And here's where we see our first difference with the Flask app. We need to prepend the route function with async, since we'll be doing input-output operations inside that are asynchronous. For now, let's just return a simple hello world. Finally, we need to make the app start with app.run. Save the file. Before we can run it, we need to define some environment variables, just like we did with Flask. In order for that to work, we're going to install the python.env library, which allows us to create an env file to be loaded when Quart runs. So on the terminal, type poetry add python-.env and then create a .quartenv file in the root folder as follows. We're now ready to run our first Quart app. Just type poetry run Quart. You will be notified that the application is running on port 5000. If you now open this URL on your browser, you'll see the hello world message. Now, let's create a template instead of returning the string directly to the user. For that, we'll create a template folder so that we can render the page more dynamically with the context. So create a templates folder and inside create the hello.html file as follows.
in the Hello PY file, add render template to the Quart import on line 1 and change the hello function as follows. Did you notice that? For the first time, we're using the await keyword. What do you think that is? If you said that render template is a coroutine, you are right. Rendering a template can take some time, so Quart hands that off to a coroutine so that it can service other requests until the template is rendered. Try taking out the await keyword, run the application, and reload the page in the browser. You will get the following error. As you can see by now, things are not so different from what this application would look like in Flask. Of course, this is a very simple app, so as we make things more complex, you will definitely start to see the differences. Let's now tackle how to build our first database-driven Quart application.